In operation since 1988, the Lord's Kitchen has not missed a single day of service since then. Volunteers tell me if the pandemic couldn't slow them down, this fire wasn't going to either. It was devastating that first Friday in July when fire from a neighboring home spread to the Lord's Kitchen. There were people out there on the streets crying, I mean tears, because they couldn't believe what was happening. People that had come to depend on the ministry left wondering where their next meal would come from. A woman raising her four grandchildren among them. I looked at her and I said, we will fix it. I didn't know what next. I didn't know how much the damage was. And you know what? That voice still rings in my ears. Executive Director Kedrick Tembo knew even missing a day, missing a meal wasn't an option. So they haven't. Meals are now being made every morning, seven days a week, in another kitchen. Sandwiches and sweets. Snacks, chips. Bagged up, then loaded onto the ministry's food truck and driven 10 minutes away to South Fifth Street. And that, Pastor Vance Shelton, who has been a part of the ministry for 20 years, says is the best part. When they see you pull up, they like, they're just like, praise the Lord, thank you. I'm here every day and this is the only meal most of us get. So it's a real blessing. The meals go fast on this day, and in a matter of minutes, 60 sack lunches are gone. Thank you. Meanwhile, work continues so that the Lord's Kitchen can soon be reopened. That could be a while. But the executive director says not having their own kitchen won't change their mission. I can proudly say we are not planning to miss a meal. We'll never miss a meal. We've not missed a meal and do we'll keep feeding whatever it takes. Lord Adams, WLKY News. The Lord's Kitchen did have insurance, but they're not sure just how much it will cover. The mission is completely funded by donations. If you would like to help, there's a link online, or you can find it using the free WLKY mobile app.